Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is another is another journal with me video and I'm in my Lady Falcons Traveler's 5th Anniversary Limited Edition Traveler's Notebook. Now as if you've been following my channel you know that I normally use Traveler's Company's Traveler's Notebook but once in a while I will sort of um, collect some limited editions notebook or if the sizes is not available in the Travis company that means it's not standard or it's not passport size then I'll get out of brand and here I'm just doing I think maybe the final flip through for 2019 the next time I'll be seeing you guys will be in 2020 also I would like to apologize that my previous video I didn't have any description at all in my YouTube channel nor did I update <coughs> excuse me my um, supplies I'm really very sorry because after I recorded that video uh, if you've seen that video I mentioned that I'm having a very bad cough and I still did the voiceover I thought the next day I'll be able to edit it and some of you have left me lovely comments to wish me well get well soon recover soon I thank you very much love you guys for that but uh, the ne very next day I have a super super bad throat inflammation I can't drink I can't eat I can't even swallow my own saliva to tell you all the truth so I have no choice I need to go to the hospital and put the drip on and they put the medication through the drip because I can't swallow anything and the medication was so good after I think a couple of hours the inflammation gone and I'll be able to drink and eat again so very sorry that uh, I wasn't able to do any updates in my YouTube channel on my last journal with me video but I'll be doing it after uh, today together with this video I'm so sorry I, I ramble on because <coughs> excuse me I really need to explain myself because I feel so sorry that I wasn't being able to update my video description or update my supplies and reply to all your lovely comments okay without further ado let's get back to this video sorry I am using this piece of um, it's not a vintage paper it's actually a paper pad and it has this various designs so I'm ch I choose one of the design and I use this big stamp where they have this cursive or uh, classic writing to stamp on the paper so that it looks full and then just now I show you the this vintage paper that I'm going to use as a collage as well as this craft grid classic -y, uh, washi <coughs> and also one of the die cuts that I'll be using it has the number flim strip is from Elizabeth craft design now I love her design I love her dies so I wanted to get this die before my 2020 resolution which is no spending zero spending kicks in because I've really been eyeing that die cut for so long <coughs> so I'm gonna use it today and here I'm just gonna tweak around how I want to do the collage on this page <coughs> actually I wasn't fully recovered yet but at least I can eat and drink that's the most important part I still have a bit of coughing and yeah but yeah oh uh, yes i mean that day was this torture to me because imagine every <clears throat> time you want to so solo your saliva or you want to drink just a sip of water is like i don't know the, the pain is like you're gonna faint oh that's the worst ever throat information i have And here I'm going to mark down where I'm going to put everything down, which is just a paper. So I'm going to use my press stick, glue stick to put it down. <laughs> so how have you guys been? And how was everyone's Christmas? I have a rather relaxing Christmas. Apart from the throat inflammation and my cough, I, I have been enjoying my holidays. Yep, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. And now let's look forward to a fresh new year ahead. With healthy lifestyle and you know, doing things that you like. Think that's important to be happy. 
this is the one I'm gonna use so I've cut it out off camera because uh, I'm using my Tim Holtz sidekick like I mentioned in my previous video I have limited space so I need to put my sidekick somewhere else and I cut on actually a sticker craft paper a craft paper sticker yep and at first I want to just put that down directly but it felt like it didn't pop up much because this is supposed to be my date 29th so I want <coughs> excuse me it to be more obvious so I'm going to use this white piece of uh, paper pad and tear it out and I think it looks quite okay since everything is craft paper at the back so yeah but then I felt it's a bit too blunt, so I am going to do a small collage again. So I'm going to take some uh, vintage tickets and uh, do a small collage with this translucent or this tracing paper or this you call gasoline, uh, not gasoline, <laughs> gasoline paper. <coughs> now usually I like my paper to all stay down every corner but this round i'm gonna try a little bit of a different effect i'm just gonna put a, some glue tape behind and then just let it stay put but i'm not gonna stick it down like all corners so yeah i try to he not heal to <laughs> overcome my ocd <laughs> same goes with this glassing paper so I'm not going to put all corner down. The most important is the middle part, and a bit on the side. <coughs> excuse me, a bit on the side, and that's it. I think it looks great. And next up, I am gonna put a vintage floral sticker down. I was just moving it around no not just I'm just moving it around and I've decided to put it at the bottom right corner somehow it looks better that way I'm not sure in a way it will sort of help to make sure the glassing paper stay down and here I'm gonna put a bit of a washi my favorite classic key on that part yeah I thought my OCD can be overcome but <laughs> when I see the glassing paper sort of you know came up so I decided I want to put some washi there to make sure it stays down yep still OCD about that and I'm gonna put a bit on the bottom part so the left part is done I like how it turns out and here on the right part, I'm just gonna do a small collage on the top, no, on the bottom right corner. So I think if you've been following my channel, you can see my style. Yep, I normally have a uh, a very full or comprehensive collage on the right side or the left side, and the other side I'll do a small little one to show the continuity of my pattern or of my team. <coughs> Excuse me, and yeah. That's how it goes for me. So I normally will use back the same washi, the same craft paper, or the same vintage paper or vintage tickets. Yep, to ensure you know the two page, the two pages are linked. So I'm gonna put everything down, and I think um, with vintage you normally can't go wrong. So, yeah just ensure the color combination that you choose is you know relevant I would say brown orange yellow um, beige yeah green blue I think all these color goes very well together and here I found a vintage ticket now all those stash are from my freebies I am still trying to use up all my freebies. Hopefully by next year, because of my nose band, I'll be able to clear some of my supplies, make room, 
not for more supplies, but make room for, you know, just have some more space around. Yeah. And I'm going to use that registered post mark again. I love it because it's water activated. Oops, I bumped into my tripod, very sorry. So you can see a bit of my pajamas because it's night time now. Yep. So I ran off to get some water on that postmark. And then I'm gonna um, um, distress the side of my pages off camera because it is a bit boring to see me distressing around the pages. Yep. With this frill burlap color. And I think it turns out good. And next up, I am going to put down the date, even though I have the 29 film strip there. But I have no space to write the December or the uh, Sunday. 29 is a Sunday, which is tomorrow, if I upload this today. Today is the 28th. <laughs> and I'm supposed to start work today. But because of my throat, I took sick leave off for today. Yeah, I work on Saturday. That is a very... How to say it? Previously, I've never worked on Saturday before. This is my first job that I work on Saturday. Yeah. Need some time to get used to it. Anyway, this I'm going to use this stem uh, pack to stem down the day, the date, and the day. Now, this stem... Uh, this alpha and number stamp, I bought it from Taobao, you know the China website. I think you, um, for European countries, you can get it through AliExpress. But for Asian countries, you can get it through Taobao. And uh, miraculously, their service is quite good. You know, when um, I have some experience buying from, um, you know, that type of... Um, website and it wasn't a happy experience I did mention it before I bought some uh, stamps I ended up getting a necklace yeah very funny anywho but I think Taobao services has been improved a lot since they first started so yeah and I love what I get and uh, what I got and at a very reasonable price the shipping wasn't too expensive so yeah i got that from Taobao and i love it and there we go i'm actually done am i yes i am so thank you guys for watching again i'm very sorry i didn't update any details in my previous video but i'm gonna update together with this one uh by tomorrow else it'll be monday i'm very sorry i can't commit because I still have tomorrow is a Sunday so I still have to see my schedule but later would be by Monday please bear with me and thank you guys again for watching and I hope you enjoy this journal with me and happy new year bye see you guys